thing that you do here into this, you're by your spirits. Thank you. And wherever this travels, whatever the enemy does, whatever resistance, that spirit that you guys put in here, the spirit of God, from your love and your hearts, it's going to emanate. Amen. And thank you for that. It's going to make my job wherever I hit the road. Woo you guys blessed it. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Amen. 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 We've got one more drum to show us. Is that mine? And, uh, Is that mine? Know, you know, I've been to one other church, Is that mine? Native church, where I saw a woman with a drum like this. And uh, did I call it a wrong name? It's no. Not a drum, it's a tambourine or something. It's a drum. You know, the Hand Native drum. American among the Lakota, the Lakota calls me. Let me back up. The Hispanic calls me David Medeiros. You know, Medeiros in Spanish means woods. Is that right? Yeah. So that's my Hispanic name. If I ever go to Mexico, it's David Medeiros. Okay. In the Lakotas, they call me White Buffalo. <laughs> but I didn't know that my skin would always be used for a drum. What is this, what is this uh, drum in particular? How does it differ from that one there? This is a hand drum, smaller, personal. You can carry it around wherever you're nice. a lot, a lot easier to carry. And I notice your drumstick is not made in China. No, no. it's not made in China. <laughs> drum's not made in China. What is it made from? This one here is elk hide. Elk hide. And probably birch. And then the drumstick is a stick from the tree. Mm -hmm. A little stick. stick and then Leather, leather, leather ball. Yeah. There. Now, do you dance? Yeah. Do you get wild when you dance? Uh -huh. Sometimes. <laughs> Let him loose. Do you, do you dance with this? Do I dance with this? Yeah. If I have to sometimes. <laughs> No, you got to make music. Make music on your own. Okay. Man. And again, the native people, whether, whether you see it or not, they really are, especially in, in the circuit of uh, power, the veterans, all veterans, yeah. all veterans. Those that have come back, besides those that are gone, those are still serving right now. Those that come back, when they come home, they're, they're broken. Yeah. They're struggling. And we apologize to them in our native way with prayer and song. Mm -hmm. Apologize yeah. that they had to go and do and see what they had to do. Yes. We as elders, we as the, the tribe, whoever they are, apologize for them for their, what they had to be, been through. That's a healing process. After apology, then we honor them. We honor them that they gave up, surrendered themselves to go. And the native, whether they're, if they're not Christian, their mother, they, they call us earth their mother, but they also call United States, their mother. That's our, that's our motherland, mother country. And just going really quick there, our mother is a, the native warriors have that instinct of a, protecting their family, their property, their, their family, the, everything that belongs to them. Mm -hmm. When danger comes, they go out to fight to protect them, to protect their land where they live, protect their family, that their livelihood there. So with the same sense, they use that Still and still, some people say, how can you go fight for the country that did it to you? They still have that warrior spirit of sense of protecting the motherland because now we live here, this is our home, our families live there. So that's honoring them. And after honoring them, we bring joy to them. Amen. We're happy that they're home. We sing and dance with them to alleviate the pain that they have. So those three things are what natives do when they you see them, people think, don't understand, they call it ceremony. But that's what they do, they're apologizing to them. And then they honor them, and they help them heal. So, Key, uh, even down to your name, Key Kaibatoni, yeah. there's meaning, there's significance uh, to that name. Your family was the most well-known uh, medicine man, shaman type of people within the Navajos in your, both sides of your family, passed down to you. When you became a Christian, it was a little difficult or strange. You would see evangelists come in and you'd say, 
wait a minute, they're not even doing nothing but just talking. They're not demonstrating. Mm -hmm. And you realize that healing is in the name of Jesus, but was any of this stuff used in your family with healing in the area of healing? No, this, this, we had small water drums that we used. Different. Water drums and rattles, paraphernalia, but I always associate it with also with friends and different, different friends, different tribes that were into powwow. And they believe that as a religion, the, the feathers and everything is really serious to them. But we did healing different. We used the Navajo paraphernalia for, 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 for my, for my where I'm from. Okay. So, so. And, and it was healing. Yeah. We weren't bad healers. We thought we weren't bad healers, but we didn't call on Jesus. So who else is doing the healing? Right. Right. Invitation healing. Satan. Uh -huh. So yes. And since then, when you became born again, you renounced all that, of course, and Amen. you came all the way into Jesus, really realizing Jesus is the true healer Amen. with the real healing gift. Amen. Amen. He is the greatest medicine man of all Woo! medicine men. Glory. It was amazing. It took me four and a half years to break because I was so heavy. I I did healing. I did supernatural healing. I thought nothing of it. That's where I was brought up. And when I became a Christian, I got criticized by, by the ch my home church, my leaders, my deacons, because I was battling so hard. I was trying to break away, and the Satan wouldn't let me go. Still today. Well, I'm, I'm free now. <laughs> That's okay. I'm you know, free now. What I mean is the church is still today criticized. Yes, yes, because they look at this as wrong, but they don't see their submission. No one is reaching those that are lost in their ways. No one is walking out there come in the name of Jesus. They just like don't go over there as evil. And mm -hmm. when you come walking into a powwow, you have everybody's attention because you've got a cross. Yes, they, they look at me like, who's that? I mean, this is not a Christian powwow. This is a regular powwow. When I walk in the dance with them, this is this is a story in itself, a miracle. But we yeah. Have time for that. <laughs> but they see this. They whoever the head board that you have somebody in charge like. The head court dancer, and then after him, there's two more. But they see me coming back and see them just looking at me. <laughs> keeping their eye on me like, Who is this dude? Uh -huh. And they see this. If I didn't have this on, I would have been no problem. Uh -huh. But they see the cross. Amen. They see the dove. Mm -hmm. And they watch. And she knows that. She, she, they just keep an eye on me. <laughs> after a while, the spirit, the 